if you enjoy my videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified when I upload new videos. All right, here we are in Adobe After Effects and the first thing that we'll do is create a new composition. I will make my composition full HD, which means 1920 by 1080 uh, pixels and then a frame rate of 24 and maybe something like 10 seconds long would be perfect. I will rename my comp to main composition and click OK. So now what we will do is click on our text tool and simply click over here and write something. Of course, this font sucks. Uh, so the first thing that I'll do is actually write correctly. And then I will go and search for my favorite font, which is called Lado, uh, which is a free font that you can download online. So Lado, here we go. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And right here, you can also make it a little bit more, uh, like give it a little bit more space in between. So uh, it looks a little bit more cinematic in my opinion. Uh, maybe let's go for a medium kind of thickness and there we go. So now we have our text. Uh, what I'll do is go to my selection tool, go to the align tab right here and just click uh, these two buttons to send your text on your composition like. All right, so in the effects and presets, what you can do is go to the animation presets. So we can go into the presets themselves and right here you will find a folder called text and in this folder you will find a bunch of free presets that come within After Effects and if you apply one of these, you will see that uh, these have kind of animations. Depending on where your time cursor is right here in your timeline, there is where the animation is going to start. So let's drop in by character and click and drag this onto our text. And let's preview. So now we have something like this going on. So this is what the presets are actually doing. I'm going to undo that for now and make our own. Uh, so what we'll do is click on our text layer and go to the animation uh, right here in the menu and go for animate text opacity. And there we go. We will see this in our uh, timeline. So what we'll do is actually go to the range selector and go into the advanced tab as uh, so everything is open. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it clearly, uh, but we will animate our opacity to fade in. So if we're actually going to zero out our opacity and play with the um, offset here, we'll see that our text actually gets faded in uh, like this. So what we'll actually do is go to the beginning of our timeline, click on the stopwatch for offset, and then around maybe five seconds, we'll go to 100% in the offset, and that way our text is going to fade in like this. Currently, it's fading in uh, from characters. We can also make this fade in by word uh, and things like that. So how to do that is actually simply in the advanced tab right here, you see based on characters. If we change this to words, uh, it's simply going to fade in the words, which can also be very cinematic and very cool. You can see this is so simple to create, but immediately uh, it ups the quality of your text animation and your titles. So yeah, these are simple tricks that you can do as a beginner to make your video just more interesting. So what I will do is go for the characters um, because these give a little bit more detail in this kind of animation, but uh, the words is also a pretty cool effect. So for the shape, uh, currently set to square, which means that it's actually going to fade in quite roughly. If we're going to change the square to ramp up, it's going to have a smooth animation just like this. All we have to do here in the beginning is set our offset to minus 100 instead of zero. And now we're going to have a nice fade in like this, which looks amazing in my opinion. Before we continue this video, I would like to present you our website designed for filmmakers and video editors to improve their workflow. We offer templates, presets, high quality pre-made packs, soundscapes, essential graphics and much more. If you don't have time to create something of your own or you just want to speed up your workflow, definitely check out our website with the link in the description below. All right, next what we'll do is actually add a new animator. So click on our text and go to animation, animate the text and we're going to add a tracking. In here, we're going to click on the stopwatch for the tracking amount in the beginning of our timeline and drag all the way till the end and just increase your tracking amount to what you want. So something like five should be fine, not too much. And that way it's actually going to fade out like this. It's going to stretch the text a little bit, but on character basis. So it's not going to be scaling and changing a ratio. Just in this case, make sure that your text is actually centered. So go to the paragraph tab right here. Um, and make sure the center, uh, the text is centered. Otherwise, it's going to scale from the left or the right, just like this. And this gives it a little bit of a cinematic movement and makes it a little bit more interesting than just a simple fade in. 
So next what we want to do is add another animation, but this time we're going back to our animator one. You can see right here, we actually made two animators. The reason being is we want our uh, tracking not to uh, be affected by the range uh, selector right here, but we do want our blur to be affected by the range selector. So what we'll do is click on animator one, go to add property, and we're going to add some blur. So that's right here, blur. And we're going to just increase our blur to something like we like, something like 50 should be fine. And now it's going to fade in, but it's also going to have the blurry titles, which are going to get sharp uh, over time. So this is a very cool and very cinematic animation that you can do so simply in Adobe After Effects, but that instantly ups the quality of your video. So yeah, that's what we're going to be making in our text preset pack. We're going to make a bunch of presets that you can just go ahead, drag on your text and get results just like this. So uh, definitely check it out once it's online. We're working hard on making a lot of cool and cinematic uh, presets for these text animations. If you want, you can also add this to your Premiere timeline. All you have to do is click on a window and go to Essential Graphics and you can save it as an essential graphic. I actually have a video on how to make an essential graphic, but simply go to the master right here, select the composition where your text is at, and then all you have to do is solo supported properties, and all you have to do is here, source text, drag it into your essential graphics, and then just export it, and now each time that you're going to import it in the essential graphics of Adobe Premiere Pro, you can simply change the text in Adobe Premiere Pro, and it's going to keep that exact same animation, and as you made it yourself the fonts and everything will be synced together in adobe